Hare Krishna everyone, welcome to Salesforce Helping and Channel. My name is Alpar Jabati and today I am going to share with you a very important question which are related to the Salesforce flow. So today we are going to understand what are the Salesforce limit. Okay. So basically first is total SQL queries per transaction is 100 only. Okay. Second limit is there is only 150 DML, DML statement per transaction and you can only retrieve 50,000 record. Okay. And a flow can only process 10,000 record using a DML operation like create, update, delete. Okay. Salesforce allow for maximum 10 second or you can say 10,000 millisecond of CPU processing time per transaction. Now let's understand how you can, you know, solve this query. So basically in terms of like 100 SQL queries, you can break down large flow into small number one or manageable ones. Okay. Use filter by SQL queries to fetch only those necessary reducing uh, load. Optimize data handling by reducing the number of records process at once and process record in smaller batch to stay with the limit. To stay within a limit, use filter in SQL queries to fetch only the necessary code, whatever you are required. Retrieve only relevant data to keep the flow efficient and avoiding hitting the limit. So basically when you need to process more than 10,000 records, so considering using asynchronous flow, which process data in stages to manage large updates for more efficiently, along with breakdown record processing to stay within the limit ensure smooth execution. Okay. Last uh, but not the least, optimize your flow to logic to reduce processing time, minimize complex operations and unnecessary loops to keep execution smooth. So stay tuned to Salesforce Helping and Channel for more videos. Thank you.